What is up, you guys? So, I decided to react on a video I got sent from uh, Carla. Carla Bay Bailey. She sent me this video. I haven't even watched it yet, but... Um, oh, oh. But, I have my friend here. Uh, he's gonna watch it with me. Howdy. Howdy, yeah. Alright. So, let's watch this shit. Do you have any context? Yeah, it's a... It's a so, Bernie show, Griggs man. is using social media to really push his activism. But others have been using the internet to spread divisiveness. One group has pushed the agenda all the way to the White House. Meet the alt-right. Donald Trump's election a boon to the fringe movement known as the alt-right. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! Oh. <laughs> Hail our people! Get the fuck out of here. Richard Spencer, who coined the term alt-right. Alt-right stands for alternative right. The alt-right movement has been hugely energized by the election of Donald Trump. This is a fringe element that has effectively taken over the Republican Party. Me and Attorney Griggs are gonna meet with one of the leaders of the alt-right, Richard Spencer. The main guy. I like Charles Barkley. <laughs> Number one, I wanna thank you for taking time. To get to meet Charles Barkley. Uh, the, the term alt-right. Yeah. Tell me what that means. I coined that term in 2008. The alt-right now is about identity politics in North America and really around the world. Okay. I want to maintain some coherence mm -hmm. to peoples and cultures. I want a world of true diversity. I really do. I want Africans to be Africans. I want there to be an India in this world. So I want to maintain my culture. I want you to maintain yours. Mm -hmm. Why can't they Where we are headed is towards a totally fragmenting multi What the world the world is about m cultures mixing so like whenever like cultures mix so like the Romans whenever they expanded they brought their culture and mingled with other people's culture and that's how other fucking cultures were created is the mixture of cultures like that's mm. what the world is all about is mixing cultures cultures don't just stay the same this guy is fucking dumb mm -hmm. racial multicultural uh, nothing country it's a country without an identity. But wouldn't you agree that the essence of American culture okay. is that melting pot, is that coming yeah. together of people from other places? The fact is, the United States of America, that is a white country. What? Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, whites. They Hold defined on. the original America. The only true Americans are Native Americans. Oh, um, God. So everyone else immigrated here either by choice or by servitude. African Americans have been here since the 1600s. We mm -hmm. dominated. Yeah, we, yes, you enslaved. Dominated. Okay. <laughs> big fucking we forced your will on other Enslaved and murdered other people. We did. But white people were just Our really ancestors. good at it. Uh, we were also really good at giving them rights and, really and so on after. Videos like this. It really bothers me when we talk about Hispanics. These people come over here, they work their asses off, they don't get paid, and they're working for white people. Now white people are coming back now and saying, we need to get rid of all of them. Right, Look, the I think they should just things. go home. Yeah, we should have white people doing these jobs. So this idea <laughs> that we should bring in white billions of day laborers and pay them two bucks an hour because we don't want to get our hands dirty. I would rather hire black people, to be honest with you. What? I'm gonna pause it because it's funny how, like, <laughs> when you said uh, um, about, like, the, the people are like, they don't want to do our jobs. I'm telling you that the, the jobs that, like, immigrants get are jobs that are, like, no one else wants. Yeah, to they do. don't want to do it. But they'll do it because they need you know what I'm saying. Yes. It's not like that they're the bad, worst people. They're just <laughs> fucking going to work Let's get one work. thing straight. Okay. Do you believe in white privilege? Yeah, white privilege is wonderful. I want to explain oh my God. white privilege. He, was the, yo, he says he wants to endeepen what Look at his face! This motherfucker said white privilege is wonderful. Yeah. Wonder we are privilege. living at a time in which white people are losing social dominance day by day. You're afraid of being marginalized, right? Well, fucking Welcome to what it feels like to be God. black. Well, you I don't know. think white folks still dominating the world? We do dominate the world to, to an extent. Look at the boards of directors of most corporations. Tons of white people and Jews. That's true. Yes. But it's changing. But every day uh, yeah. we hear, oh, isn't this great? 
There's more diversity in this corporation. Don't we need more people of color in films and movies? Isn't this wonderful? What is the trajectory? Where is the arrow pointing? The arrow is pointing away from white power. White in my life, what's going to probably happen is that I'm going to I am going to become a minority. No shit. What do I want for my great Everybody else, everybody's going to be a minority. I do want There's them to no live majority. in a white society, a European empire. You want? My Dude, God, go back to the fucking 1600s. Don't consider then. yourself a racist. I would never say something like, I don't like black people. Uh, I mean, that, that's <laughs> not what I'm about. You just don't want them to you have as much power as you. Right. I mean, I, I think the country is fragmenting because at the end of the day, racial differences cannot fundamentally be breached. Ever. What do you mean? What? Is that what I, Lots what of people you mean? come up here and talk about equality, your opportunity, whatever. Like, please. Bullshit. Bullshit. I do doing? care about power. Power is good. Power is good if you're the boss or you're the slave owner. I'm not going to help the situation by being a, a conservative that says, oh, I'm colorblind. We're all the same. God made us, God created us equal. That's bullshit. Wait, and wait, you know, you bullshit like, you never you helps. You don't believe in equality at all? No. Equality? No. That's nonsense. There's no That's equality in nature. There's difference. Wait, well, wait, wait. He says there's no equality in nature. There's differences. Motherfucker, nature has a whole different kind of species. There's a lot of shit that's, that's there. We are one species. We're humans. You know, we don't want anything different hey, to jump this man. in life <laughs> than you do. Are you sure about that? You just want what white people want? Okay. Yes. Yes. I want a good family. Yes. I want a good job. I want my daughter to live in a world where she's like, doesn't have to worry about discrimination. That's what everybody needs. That's all we want. But in your world, if you get your dream, you're going to kill our dreams. That's the problem. It's like you want to put your foot on our throats. Rest in peace, George Floyd. All Charles is talking about, all I'm talking about what is we want laughing? those three American values. Life liberty and the pursuit of happiness mm -hmm. life liberty and the pursuit, pursuit of happiness <laughs> sounds very enlightenment mm -hmm. kind of i'm tempted to say a faggy to be honest oh, oh my god oh, 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 oh. this man is gonna get shot dude for 400 years yeah you have oppressed my people okay yeah. and the rhetoric you're spewing yeah. is Quite more oppression the generation i come from mm -hmm. and the generations to come are not going to stand for that because we're not going backwards. We're here now, yeah. whether you like the equality or not. And it's nothing that this country can do except for embrace their American values for every American and the millions of people that want to become American. So yeah. what yeah. needs to happen is the world as you see it right now, yeah. you need to start embracing the world where we see it and we can come to some understanding yeah. where we can coexist. Okay, because this is what's gonna happen. Your great great grandkids yeah. are going to be brown. The <laughs> girl's oh, yeah. eyes. That disturbed me that anybody who's interjected themselves into American politics the way he has does not believe in American values. And I think the world should know that that particular movie Eventually we're all, we are all going to be similar skin tones. To be Obviously, honest. I disagree. 100% uh, wouldn't do it justice. A thousand percent wouldn't do it justice. I tried to treat him with respect and dignity, mm. which I did. But in my heart, I had some anger. I mean, it was frustrating and tough to listen to that Charles stuff. Brecky's I'm very proud to be black. I'm going to be successful for my ancestors. Because yeah. they went through a lot of crap to put me in a position to be successful. The idea that this type of racism still exists is sad. It makes me angry. We got to get past all, all this like ambition that guy. because we're not going backwards. We're only going forward. See, Kyle's white. He's white. He understands. I don't understand the struggle. I never will understand the struggle of not being white. But at the same time, I can't, like, not all white people think like this guy yeah. thinks. Mm -hmm. This guy is fucking dumb. Like... <laughs> Just listening to what this guy said, the faggy part, like, come on, right. fuck, That's, I, is that even a word? I don't know, but I feel like this guy, like, I feel like this guy has been holding up this hate since, like, day one. He, like, 
He doesn't even see it as hate, though. He just see it, sees it's like it as normal. difference. Yeah, it's, it's difference. difference. Yeah, it's like the job we got to do is to educate and show that we're the higher. We're, if this guy, like, people need to grow up and, like. Exactly. Like, no, no, no. What I'm saying is that, like, back in high school, everybody that's watching this video, I'm guessing, has gone through high school. Who did the black people, who, like, who did the black people hang out with? Other black people. Who did the white people hang out with? Other white people. We need to change, like, we need to intermingle, because all I see is people self-segregating. They're just grouping up with their own people. They don't want to mix around. They don't want to, like, go into unfamiliar territory. And that's what we need. That's what's going to stop racism, is if we just mingle and exchange cultures and, and like, mm-hmm. realize that we're not that different. We're, look at, here, here's an analogy I use. It's, it's stupid, but I use it. Like, look at, you have eyes, I have eyes. You have fingers. I have fingers. You have a nice beard. I have a shitty beard. Yeah, shit. <laughs> you have a penis. I have a penis. What the fuck is that? She has a vagina. You have a vagina. What the fuck is the difference? We're the same people. And all because of a color of skin. Grow the fuck up. I mean, like, I know I, it sounds weird, but like, it, it sounds stupid. But like, when I see people, like, even with the Hispanic community, where like, oh, my favorite, speak English. Or go back to your country type of shit. I hate shit. when people say that. Like, I fuck? literally just laugh. I'm like, this is entertainment. Like, I'm like, you're mad. You're super mad. I literally, I pray for people like that. I pray that their heart opens up and just gets filled with love. You see these Karens on the internet saying, go back to your country, and they just get jumped, and it's the funniest mm-hmm. shit. It's like, I, I, I feel so bad for you. Like, you're carrying all this hate, all this empty. Like, it's like an insecurity. Like, you don't want to accept it. Also... We're, it's 2020. Like, if you have not realized that your neighbor is black and there's a lot of cultures in this country, you're blind and you need to grow up. Like, it's becoming disrespectful. Especially, like, any, anyone can, like, it, like, take advantage of the American dream in this country. And, yeah. But, Kyle, thank you so much for reviewing this. Uh, yes, sir. We have to do this video. This guy, whatever his name is, Spencer... Does not fucking make sense. All right, I'm gonna head out. Yeah. See ya. See ya. But to you guys, here, 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 are my thoughts. Here's my opinion that how we could change this. We could change it by not re- not being mad, but being the better person. Like no causing fights, not using violence, and even though they're on the riots, they're not black people doing it. The white guys are. I was. We were at a protest. If we if we show that we're that we're not scared, or we show that we're the higher person, it's gonna be in our favor. And fuck what the other, fuck. I don't give a fuck if you're of your politics. This is not about that. About like let's just take politics out of this whole thing. Let's just take it out. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat. No, this is about the human race in total. Doesn't. Doesn't matter what political views you are. S- screw that. This is a bigger issue. This issue is huge where like... It's about just being accepted and just being treated like fucking human beings. Like, I'm not black. I will never understand how they go through. But I'm still a minority. I'm Hispanic. I get judged. Because I... Oh, um, because I'm, I'm Hispanic. I'm, I speak a second language. Or uh, our country. We have to flee. That, like... I understand it from that perspective. And I understand my black brothers and sisters, what they're going through. I stand with you guys. So this is my reaction to this video. If you guys want to see it yourself, it's in the link. But um, thank you guys for being here. And just love each other. Like, come on. We're, we're, so, we're, we're social animals. We got we to gotta get along. And this thing, I believe that this is a big movement where... There's going to be change, and we're in the middle of history. History that's going to gonna be in the books. By the time we're 50, we're like, yo, we were there in 2020. We were freaking there. All right? So, you guys, have a good night. I usually say this on my little Monday talks. Kill the day in order for you to kill the week. Take care, you guys. Love you guys.